Have you ever felt like you were out of options? Maybe you were faced with a tough situation at work or school or, or even at home. Maybe you felt the weight of a financial burden. Or maybe you felt like you were at war with someone. Whatever it has been, we have all faced or will face situations in our lives where we are in a state best known as desperation. When we're desperate, we don't always see things clearly. Instead of waiting on the Lord, we react out of impatience and fear. In 1 Samuel 28, that's where we find Saul. He has seen that the Philistines have put together a massive army and are positioning themselves for attack. And just as we so often do, he cries out to God in desperation. Listen to what it says in verse 5 into verse 6. When Saul saw the vast Philistine army, he became frantic with fear. He asked the Lord what he should do, but the Lord refused to answer him. It goes on to say that Saul then told his advisors to find him a medium, a psychic, so that she could tell him what to do. And we see in scripture that this is something that God strictly forbids. And then he has to disguise himself in order to go and see the medium because he's the one that banned them to begin with. Saul is desperate and nearly paralyzed by fear. He's not eating, he's not thinking clearly, and he's frantically grasping for any answer he can find. It's out of that frantic state of fear and desperation that he gives up on God and gives in to sin. But why wasn't God answering him? Well, we see in verses 16 to 19, God wasn't answering Saul because Saul was not being obedient with what God had already given to him. It says, God is taking everything away from you because you didn't do what he told you to do. Luke 16.10 says, If you are faithful in the little things, you will be faithful in the large ones. But if you are dishonest in the little things, you won't be honest with the greater responsibilities. Many times in life, we are seeking God for direction, and God is silent. We begin to become unsettled, impatient, and fearful. But I want to encourage you today, before those fears lead to desperation, we need to be willing to examine our hearts, our minds, and our motives, and make sure that we are being faithfully obedient stewards with what God has already given us and instructed us to do.